Okay, we're out here, uh, out here showing the hazards of lead-based paint. This downspout here uh, was apparently salvaged by a homeowner. It came off a came off a, a shed that they'd built, and the house was uh, not pre-1978, so we didn't have to test for it. But there's a couple things about this downspout that you should be aware of. The joints here are soldered. That's a really unusual way to do stuff. That's old school because everybody now uses screws. So this tells us this is this is an old downspout. But the thing you want to be aware of is when when the paint is flaking, almost like as if it had sheets of me it was made out of sheets of metal. Um, it tends to be tends to be lead paint. I got I got gloves on because you're really not supposed to touch this stuff. So we have a uh, lead check kit. Next to it, we have another downspout that we know by the age of it uh, has never been uh, has never seen lead paint. And so the way you way you prepare is you scratch it, and I pick a corner so that I get down to bare metal but I also come across and I get all of the layers so that when we swab this in a minute we're going to be able to uh, if there's multiple layers we'll see little rings that's not, that's not working real well for me here I'm going to turn this over a little bit Right there. Okay. This is uh, this is our our check to make sure that the chemicals that are in this swab have been mixed correctly. I just squeeze those, shake them up, and this is going to come out as sort of a, a brown kind of brown kind of fluid, yellowish kind of orange. I'm going to dab that on our test downspout and watch for it to change colors. Over here, we're going to do the same thing over here, same goo. Watch for a color change. Now, right here you can see that that's turning pink. The usual place we find this on downspouts is we find that the original coat of paint was primered, used lead paint. A long time since I've seen one, but I picked a quart up one time and felt like it was 15 pounds. It really was made out of lead. See how this is all changing color over here? That indicates the presence of lead. Now, if we'd have gotten one over here that just, now I can cross contaminate this, I'm going to just try and drip it. If you get a negative, the paper is here to prove that you mixed the chemicals right. because this is now going to turn pink, which brings me to my last point. You don't touch this with your bare hands. There's lead in this paper. So what we've done now is we've had a, a true positive and a true negative test out of the same swab. 